It's very important to look at health systems development in post-conflict context because many people think that reconstructing health systems in post-conflict settings is just about reconstructing the buildings. It's just about physical infrastructure. But while that is important because of the destruction which comes with war, it is also very important to ensure that people can access and use those services. And we know very well one of the things that characterizes post-conflict situations is destroyed livelihoods and a lot of poverty. And when it comes to that, of course, we realize the women and children are likely to be most affected, which also comes from the mere fact that war leads to death, and especially the death of the most able-bodied people who would have worked hard to fend for the households and for the livelihoods. So if that happens, the end of war then tends to be characterized by a demographic decline where you have most males have died, most females, if they are not dead, they are widowed. And when that ties in with the social cultural systems and practices of who owns the land, who is supposed to do which kind of work, then you find that the women fare of worse. And especially in a place like Northern Uganda, whereby in the past women were not highly associated with high levels of education, it means those women will also not have other means of survival other than the farm household and the farmland. And so if after war, by their fact of being widows, they do not have access to land, and yet they do not have access to jobs, ideally the household poverty just gets compounded. And in that kind of context, simply constructing a health facility and expecting people to access is not enough because what happened is that actually the end of conflict also ushered in a healthcare market. So people need service, money to access the services. So without family income, without money to access the services, then it becomes difficult for households to access healthcare. And another thing which comes from the gender angle is the mere fact that they are widows does not exclude them from having dependents. So we did find several cases of elderly widows who didn't have means of survival, but having the same number of dependents, like their counterparts or those younger male household heads that had the means of existence. So you have then people have being shackled with the same kind of burden, but with less resources. Mm -hmm. So why it's important to look at gender why it's important to make a gender analysis of health, post-conflict health reconstruction is to ensure that everybody, especially women and children who are most likely to be negatively affected by the conflict, can also access health services.